Hey, this is Matt once again. Welcome back to another video. And he didn't ask me to do this, but I figured it's the least I could do. Uh, my good friend Mike OCP, he sent me some gifts. Uh, first off, he did send me a... Actually, it's over here in the safety keeping a USB with a, a few movies on there. Uh, Day Shift, Violent Night, Chip and Dale Rescue Rangers, and a few others that sadly a lot of them day shift and chippendale they don't have physical releases so that was nice to see uh, to have them now in a usb format so that was really cool thank you so much for that also some nice surprises that i'll definitely look into and then he sent me these he sent me first off copies of it's always sunny in philadelphia we got season one and two. So that's pretty cool. That was really nice of him. And then he sent me It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia season three. And It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia season four. So again, that was very nice of him. So. I've seen a couple episodes of this and it was interesting, especially the later one with uh, Dolph Lundgren in it. And then he sent me these two, which were nice. This, I believe, he uh, this was a copy he got that was broken, in, so he got another copy for free. I said, yeah, I'll take it. I don't mind. So it is the Vendor, Vendor Syndrome release of Freeway. Which I believe I did review... If I didn't, I do remember not minding this film. Uh, I know there's a sequel, but I, I like that. I thought the cast did a good job. I mean, Reese Witherspoon, who I'm not usually that big on, I thought she was actually pretty decent. Uh, Kiefer Sutherland, very different role for him. And, you know, that's some makeup that he has later on. Kind of a weird take on Little Red Riding Hood in a way and this does have some features it has commentary with writer director Matthew Bright moderated by Brad Henderson an older commentary with the director 31 minute interview with the writer director Matthew Bright 18 minute interview with producer Brad Wyman 17 minute interview with the editor 11 minute interview with actor Wolf Dean Bodison. 12 minute interview with Robert Peters. 24 minute interview with actresses Leanna Creel and Monica Lacey. Archival interview with the director. Archival interview with actress Amanda Plummer. 3 minutes. Archival interview with composer Danny Elfman. I didn't know Danny Elfman did this. 5 minutes. Archival interview with the Zetra producer Oliver Stone, 8 minutes. Raw behind the scenes footage, 6 minutes. Alternate scenes from the R-rated cut. So I guess this is, I didn't realize this is the uncut version. Long lost 35mm original camera negative. With 2 minutes of additional violence and dialogue deemed too extreme for his original run. Huh. So, yeah, that is... Freeway from Vendor Syndrome. I mean, one day I would like to get a couple stuff from them. The Clue documentary because they did they released a documentary on the film Clue, which is pretty cool because that is a fun movie. Uh, that one I reviewed about the documentary on GoldenEye. They did do a physical release of that, um, but also like side kits. That'd be cool to get side kits. It's a bit too spendy like a lot of vendor syndrome but i will say at the very least uh you it does seem like you get your money's worth on on this stuff so there is that and last but not least mike has sent me the limited edition blu-ray of the big lebowski now i don't know if there's features on this and stuff but that doesn't really matter it's just great to have the film on blu-ray very nice looking set hardcover 
And then you have quite a few pages in here. Like this. I love this film. It would easily be in my top 10 favorite comedies. I just like to watch this film anytime and laugh my ass off with it. Cult of the Dude. The uh, limited edition. So that's very nice. Um, just a limited means because of the the casing. Very cool and I do like the way this looks. Very sturdy. And like I said, big fan of this movie. Thank you so much. Great to have this. It's a big favorite of mine. It would be in my top ten favorite comedies. It'd be hard to make that list because I know the Golden Child is my ulti my number one favorite. But like top ten, that would be in there probably. <sighs> Three Men and a Baby, Crocodile Dundee would be in there somewhere. I love Cheech and Chong's Up is Smoke in next movie. I love Harold Kumar go to White Castle. God, that's tough. There's a lot of choices. See No Evil, Hugh No Evil, definitely. Uh, God, it's tough. It's just tough. But thanks once again, Mike. I uh, really appreciate the gifts. And the very least I could do is make the video thanking them. So with that said, thanks for watching guys, and we will see you in the next video. Later.